Okay. Um, we're back. I just got discharged like a few days ago. And I'm feeling great. I had dengue. Uh, so I couldn't really upload for like a few weeks. Because I, I was not feeling good at all. So now we're back. I'm gonna make a review, a long weighted review that I was like ho hoping to do but I haven't been able to because of problems and yeah okay so uh, we're gonna be reviewing sim clients okay so let's see sim client v6 I know this is pretty old but I couldn't really find uh, I couldn't really find the newer versions of sim client v6.4 like sim client v6. Point, i don't know i couldn't find a, a updated version of the pc so i'm gonna add i'm gonna use this one and then add some other packs that he made so yeah i'm gonna put this to max fps boost of course motion blur yeah and then blood explosion because he work he works on the motion blur and blood explosion for a lot i know that and uh i am hoping for the motion blur to work because patar uh first of all he used this old version as well and he didn't really reveal the, mo the motion blur it didn't really work so let's see let's see if anything changes okay so at the start the screen the the whatchamacallit the menu screen black very good i like the texturing between the blacks like between the corners i like the texturing between it and i like the splash text as well though i think it should change let's see if it changes it does not okay uh so the sim clan woods are pretty good it's the words are pretty like the words are pretty good but then the sides the side like three triangular thingies you can see like a slight edge that is like not that's not smooth so if that's smooth that'd be way better okay now for the top left corner that's like the specs that i don't think it's good because it's fake it's not really working might as well remove it or move it to the right side uh, uh that's mo <laughs> moving it to the right side be very nice in the words i know people don't li people like it so it's dim and like spatter he said it's like he read it dim than bright but then i read it bright it's because so people can like flick their eyes they can just smooth their eyes Patar, okay they can just move their eyes and then like scan through it without really looking at the text and what does it say Patar is not really a pvp here honestly his pvp skills are absolute trash garbage so he doesn't really know how to do the strats and how the pvp the pvp are things in my opinion and i think a brighter text is gonna be very useful in situations where you're panicking you don't know what to do you can like you need to see what items you're holding and sometimes items are not clear and you have to look at the words yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna join the hive so my my ping my ping is very bad before that i forgot to do something to test out uh, if it stays as a client or not as a client i'm gonna add my own base pack this is supposed to be a client it's supposed to be able to overlay and improve the features that are already available so i'm gonna add a base pack like time deals like time deal pvp time deal 2k pack the one i imported i'm gonna join hive now to see if the pack works motion blur i guess there's motion blur a tiny bit not I don't know if it even works actually. Okay, thoughts. Crosshair. Crosshair is. I don't know why, it looks kinda off center. 
but overall it's pretty good. Uh, player drop, uh, look to the top left corner, you can see the thing, you can see the words right in there, the device, FPS, CPS combo, it's all blocking the paper doll model that I am using right now, like the skin I'm using right now, this is very, 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 very useful, the paper doll model is very useful, you cannot cover it because the, this makes a, this gives you this makes you able to quick check what armor you're wearing like you can mid vp and then shift so the paper doll appears to check if the armor if you're wearing armor or not or what armor are you wearing to remind yourself without clicking double f5 or pressing e to look into your inventory yeah like that without doing this because it pauses your movement you could literally just run and then just like shift or something or like start sprinting even starting sprints it will activate player model the paper doll now for a hotbar hmm this is a problem the overlay packs it changes hotbar i really don't like that it really shouldn't change the hotbar colors like if you want to change it don't make it thin like the hotbar right now is rainbow, it's very thin. It doesn't look that good. You know? It's weird. Tiny white one pixel? No, not really that good. It looks like it looks like someone wants to cut corners. There we go, cut corners. And if you wanna cut corners or like design it so it's rainbow, make sure the thing that makes you choose what hotbar slot you are holding or what item you're holding is matched to the color this one that i'm this, this one that you see right now is the one that i have on time deal uh my recommendation for the hotbar don't change if you want to change make it so you also change the item selection thingy and also not don't make it one pixel make it like three yeah, 3 is a perfect place, or 2 even. Yeah, and then uh, the thing that separates the hotbar, you can do this. I like, kind of like it, it's pretty good. Okay, so I know there's a bug going on where uh, the names on whatever that you have, not like not names, the text that you have is scuffed. But you can see tiny lines on the surrounding of the that's not sim client that's just minecraft even without the pack it does this so yeah nope it's not no lag can i jump bridge Oh, that somehow worked. Lag timed it very well. I'm gonna die. Yep. He's gonna try to bait me into a corner. Yep. He knows the strats. But I know how to jump. And I trained this on... I trained how to counter that on hide and seek. Wait, give me a sec. This thing. When you hover over thing, it makes it look weird. The the colors, the yellow does not match this client at all. I rather uh, I just rather the whole thing be red. Or just not put that thing. Maybe dark grey. Oh, the text are scuffed. I cannot see what I'm typing. This is scuffed. Yeah, it's blood particles. Though, doesn't this look kind of boring? It's blood particles, but then it's one texture. 
it's one color there's no texturing the flow of it though i give the flow is pretty good i would prefer this if it's more obvious because right now let me get a lever to close this right now right i don't think the particles are obvious i don't think it's obvious yeah look at that what's that it just it appears below the entity and did i just see uh rainbow particles or dull no, yeah it's rainbow uh, particles xp xp orbs uh okay so thoughts on the blood the blood animation thingy <sighs> it's very sad if the blood particles thingy is like higher than that if it bounces and like explodes into like blood and stuff like that that will make it way more impressive than the smoke for now the smoke i rather the smoke than the blood because it just looks like berries or like it just looks like i don't know it, he was bleeding instead of like not the no he it looks like i don't know looks weird or now i rather the the thing the, the gas when you die when the dies in vanilla it appears as gas right yeah this thing is only appear like the flow of the blood you see that it only appears when like it's not covered when it's flying it only appears there I'm gonna make this to impulse. Yeah, look at that, that flow there. It only appears when the thing is um above ground where you, like I said this command block, you can see it clearly. Only there you can see it clearly. If like normal, right? Let me find the same blood explosion from a card. Like that look at that you can see a blob that's all it really covers the rest of the actual stuff that are good it really covers it look at that. that's nothing it's like a blob that's way better but then it's covered so if you if the owner's watching this it's most likely he will if you could just make the blood particles explode vertical and then sideways so it looks more like a fountain instead of blobs appearing on the ground okay to recap notes for change no top left specs which is the top left thingy that you see like that you see over here the device fps cps combo don't add that or move it to the right right top corner uh yeah it's very annoying because it covers player doll and it and even without the player doll the paper doll i mean it will cover the coordinates and it's very annoying just don't add it it's also useless it doesn't work okay and then don't change hotbar don't change hotbar it looks bad honestly looks bad and don't cross the line between a client and a texture pack also, if you want to change it, make it so you also change the item selection and make it so it's not one pixel. Hmm. Uh, don't change grass, this grass is terrible. And if you want to add like a custom texture pack, base pack that I add just now, time deal, it didn't work, which means they had a custom grass texture. Uh, so yeah, don't change from... Don't make it so the client and the texture pack at the same time just don't cross the line between client and texture pack okay um when hover over items yeah when when you hover over an item in the in the inventory the yellow doesn't really match i guess it's fine it's it's fine uh just i don't think it's i don't think it fits either you make the whole thing black or you make it a whole thing like darker red or even bright red 
I think darker red's pretty good. Maybe it probably looks good. Yeah. Okay. Uh. I now I couldn't see what I was typing. When you hover over this, you cannot see the starting end and the ending end. The ending end doesn't really matter because you're gonna type over that anyway, or you're not gonna type that long. Starting though, I couldn't see anything, and that really matters when you're typing in a command block. And then let's start off with motion blur. Mo motion blur does not work. It does not work. Literally, I don't see motion blur, bro. I don't see motion blur. It's just my normal blurring. I don't see anything. I don't. I don't. I, I didn't add motion blur. I think. Wait, no. I didn't add some other motion blur. This thing has motion blur. I don't think there's motion blur. It's weird. And if it does, I cannot see it. Now for the important part of this thing that I'm actually excited about. So they can change to make this way better, bro. They can make this incredibly better with this one thing. Blush, uh, blood splash physics. The blood right now. It's a blob, it means to repeat the gas, when, so when a mob dies, it's supposed to be gas, but it repeats it to blood, so it's like tiny blobs. The blobs are textureless, actually, I think it's fine, but the physics are cursed. Where, if you see, like, if you place it like on, wait, if you make it elevated like this, it splashes out from horizontal to diagonal downwards looks weird when where it, where it, when it's in the air and the uh, whole particles is um, showing it's very good it's very well made I really like it but when it's on the ground you don't really see it it's just it's just like a weird splash I know okay so I think changing it so it goes up slightly vertical and curving on horizontal be better like a fountain shape and it's not like directly from a single point where it's like for example let me take a red concrete out right now it's this it goes downwards it does this from the highest point let me just add more goes from the point where the mob dies and then it goes downwards this is not that very good because only the top part here is showing above ground the below is all we cannot see it I think it'd be better if it starts from a single point and then it's it spreads out higher first like a bit higher like this like that and then maybe it curves over like this. Like that. And then it goes to the side. Something like, I don't know. So it's like... I think this, I can, I can, I can add one here as well. Yeah, so it's like from center. It's more like an upside down pyramid than a right side abnormal pyramid. So it's like flashing out, up and out, instead of down and out. You know? Yeah, so I think this would be a huge improvement. And yeah. Yeah, it would make it way better. Than it already is. Now for official rating, uh, the client review that I did for Onyx and for other clients as well, Onyx was 11 out of 10 because he was the, it was the best client that PC could had. I know Sim client is mainly a pocket edition client, and Pat Hardy didn't really say about say say that to the viewers that it's mainly a pocket edition client, but the owner is spreading out a lot to 
to PC, Airlock Edition, and Java Edition. I have not reviewed Java Edition or even touched it before. I have Java, but then uh, I've only I've only touched uh, PC version, PC Barrel Edition version of Sim Client. Um, yeah. For now, I won't judge the words. I won't judge the the words when you type stuff when it's menu. I don't. I won't judge that first because I know that there's a bug going around where the words are scuffed. Yeah. So. Um, uh, out of 10, I would judge this client on about, on about 7, I would judge it 7 out of 10. It could improve if the client focuses more on improving the game more than cosmetics. And even if the cosmetics, the cosmetics aren't really that good. It's good, it's very good. But then it's not really that good, since people don't really need that much cosmetics. Like if you see the Discord server, Halo rings, pets, uh, crystal wings, many many random stuff. So I think that it should focus more on optimizing the clients. Maybe add some, maybe add some like optimizing features like quick crafting to mob to like population or like quick crafting to anything. Find some. Better condition technical tweaks that you can put into your client to make it way better. Because for now, the client is more like a cosmetic client than a FPS boost client. Because um, the cosmetics have, like, there are more cosmetics than optimizer and FPS boost. So, uh, recap 7 out of 10 focuses too much on cosmetics there that's the review well yeah focuses too much on cosmetics and not on the actual client and um don't cross the line between a client and a texture pack if you want to make a texture pack sure make it make make a sim texture pack i don't care but make it so we have a choice between so we can switch between either a client, a full client, or a client plus texture pack, or a client and texture, uh, no, or a sim texture pack. So it's three choices. Make us have a choice, so it's not like you just uh, overlay and everything and then the base pack just doesn't exist. Because there, there are some clients out there, I know that they title themselves, they title themselves as a client, but they change every ore in the game and every texture in the game. That's a texture pack, that's not a client. So, don't cross the line. So that concludes the review of uh, Sim Clients and its cosmetics. Uh, yeah, if you want me to like review other stuff, other clients, just like spam comment them in the comments or something, or DM me on Discord. Oh yeah, for the sim client download, it's in the description. It's it's in the description as well. It's in their Discord server, so just click there. And also, please join my Discord server because I I do regular updates there. And it's not really that active, but you can make it active. So yeah, bye bye.